Mirror Cake! Hi, I'm Andrea. And I'm Nate. And we're going to teach you how to make mirror cake. Why is it called a mirror cake? It's called a mirror cake because it's covered in extra smooth, extra shiny glaze. When you frost a regular cake, no matter how hard you try to get it smooth, it's always going to be a little bit wavy. But if you cover it with our special glaze, it gets very smooth and very shiny. And you can see your reflection in it just like a mirror. To make a mirror cake, you're going to need the following equipment. A measuring cup, a mesh strainer, a dish towel, a nine inch cardboard round, parchment paper, a rimmed baking sheet, a wire cooling rack, an offset spatula, two bowls, a spatula, a saucepan, a knife, and a plate. You're also gonna need the following ingredients. A nine inch frosted cake. You can use boxed mix and store-bought frosting for this, but we have tons of recipes for cake on the site. A half a cup of water, a quarter cup of water, a cup of sugar, one and a third cup white chocolate chips, two tablespoons of unflavored gelatin, a tablespoon of vanilla, half a cup of sweetened condensed milk, quarter teaspoon of black gel food coloring, and an eighth of a teaspoon of turquoise gel food coloring, both of which are in your box. I'm excited to see how shiny the cake will be. So, to start, we are going to line our rimmed baking sheet with parchment paper and place the wire cooling rack inside. This is gonna keep our work surface nice and clean later. We like to use chocolate cake and vanilla frosting for this recipe. I have already placed our cake on the cardboard round, which is just gonna make it easier to move after we poured the glaze. And while we make our glaze, we're gonna store our cake in the freezer. To make our glaze, we are gonna use our small bowl to mix together a quarter cup of water and our gelatin. Good job. And the gelatin goes right in there. And then we are just gonna stir it up and make sure that all of that powdered gelatin has gotten wet and hydrated. Perfect. So now we're gonna let this sit for five minutes. And while we wait for that, we are going to combine our half cup of water, sweetened condensed milk, vanilla, and sugar in our saucepan. Awesome, I can take that. Great. And you can use why don't I help you out with this and we'll scrape it all out because we want to get all of the milk. Great, and then we can just put the vanilla in. Awesome. So now we need to turn our stove onto medium heat. Good work, let's turn it down to medium. And then we're gonna stir this up and we're gonna cook this for about five to eight minutes until we see little bubbles forming on the sides. What should we do to pass the time? Well, I have a magic trick. Ooh. So, I have a white dye, I mean a black dye, and I can turn it white in the blink of an eye. <laughs> wow. How'd you do that? So, this is magnetic. It's not an actual oh. black dye. And then I can put this in. So I can put the white dye inside, and then the top of that is magnetic too. So these stick together, and then this falls down. Wow. When that sticks because of the magnet. That's so cool. We've got our bubbles. We have to turn this off, and we're gonna slide this to a cool burner. Mmm. Does it smell good? Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna use the rubber spatula to scrape the gelatin into the saucepan. Yep, give it a real good scrape, yep. And I'm gonna help get these last little bits because we wanna make sure we get it all in there. And then you're gonna just stir it up until the gelatin's all dissolved. There. Awesome. I think that's good. Awesome, all right. And now we're gonna put in our chocolate chips, dump them all in. And then we want to stir until all of those are melted in as well. I think that looks pretty good. We're going to strain that mixture into here. I'm going to hold this up a little bit. Great. Do you know why we do this? Yeah, to get all the little bits mm -hmm. uh, out so it's nice and smooth. So it's nice and smooth for our cake. That's right. So now we've got to let this cool for 15 minutes and we're gonna stir it occasionally so that a skin doesn't form on the top. So now that our glaze is cooled and ready, we're gonna pour half a cup into our measuring cup. Good work, good work, you got it. Then we're gonna mix in our black gel food coloring. And I will scrape it out. 
Whoa. Yeah. We use this much black food coloring because we want it to be truly black, not gray. See how it's kind of gray right now? Yeah. Keep stirring it up until it gets black. Okay, so now right. we're just gonna have to clean this off real quick because we don't wanna mix up our colors quite yet. So now we're gonna mix the turquoise, our eighth of a teaspoon of turquoise in the bowl. All right. I'm gonna scrape it with this because if we touch it with our fingers, our fingers will get really dirty or really just blue. Do you wanna have blue fingers? No. Nah, me neither. You stir it up. It's just a tiny bit of food coloring, but it goes a long it way. It does go a really long way. Awesome, I think that looks really good. And I'm gonna get our cake from the freezer because we're all ready. There's no cake. We don't have a cake. <laughs> almost, <laughs> we almost did it. <laughs> so now we're gonna take our black food coloring and pour it right in the center of this bowl. But we're not gonna stir it. Keep pouring, keep pouring, we wanna get all of it out. And we don't stir it up because- Then they'll mix. If we stir it, then they'll mix in the bowl, and instead of getting two colors on the cake, we'll only get one color. That won't look very good, will it? No. All right, we gotta go real quick before this cools off, and you're gonna pour the glaze right into the center of the cake. And we wanna get it all down the side, so that's looking really perfect. And it's okay if it drips down onto the baking sheet, because that's what it's there for. Keep going, you got a little bit more. Yeah, awesome. That looks really good. It looks so, yeah. I can already see myself in it. <laughs> can I see myself in it? I can. It's time to transfer our cake. All right. So, we're gonna get our platter, and we're gonna slide the metal spatula underneath the cardboard and move it onto the plate. We're gonna do a little shimmy, shimmy, shimmy here. Awesome. All right. We need to put the cake in the fridge until the glaze isn't sticky anymore, which will take about 20 minutes. Once we took our cake out of the fridge, we let it sit at room temperature for 30 minutes, but you can leave it out for up to 24 hours. Let's eat our reflections. Okay. Mm. That's good cake. This might be my favorite cake ever. I think so too. Yeah. What do you think of the glaze? It's nice and creamy mm -hmm. and soft. For more cake decorating recipes and techniques, visit atkkids.com.